Abby Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Web and TNM.org, community policing, we like it. We Chicago police liked it as much as we do. So catch up, guys. Anyway, my uh, election season is on in full blast. We're already getting like great candidates way before um, the election is taking place. The election is going to be March 21st. Early voting will probably start about three weeks early. And what a reclamation is something, as all of you know, we have covered extensively over the years. It is a pleasure to introduce you to one of the candidates running for commissioner to the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago, Barbara Moore. Barbara, how are you? It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here again. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. And of course, Barbara is the wife of Alderman Joe Moore and also the, you know, the, 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 the driving force behind things like the farmer's market and all kinds of other goodies. Yes. We uh, founded the Glenwood Sunday Market and the 49th Ward Green Corps were two of the big initiatives locally. No, it sounds good, and um, yeah, I, I hear nothing but raves, and you guys were even voted one of the best farmers markets around this. We last were time. indeed tops in Illinois. So very cool, very cool. So, um, what made you decide to run for water reclamation? Sure. <laughs> well, I have worked in politics behind the scenes all my life. I currently serve as the executive director of the National Democratic Municipal Officials Organization, which is as much of a mouthful as Metropolitan Water Reclamation <laughs> District. I should run for dog catcher or something simpler. <laughs> uh, but as uh, executive director of that organization, I work with city council members and mayors all over the country. And I've been looking at best practices in water use and infrastructure as well as working on those things locally. Um, we, our 49th Ward Green Corps was a big part of working with uh, St. Margaret Mary School and the Center for Neighborhood Technology. Um, we brought in volunteers, the Center for Neighborhood Technology worked with the school to get a grant, um, help put in pervious surface um, and, uh, and, and design a rain garden to stop their chronic basement flooding. And, um, we were very successful in that process and in watching that process and, and others, I realized we, we really have an opportunity to make a big impact. I grew up on the southeast side of Chicago and I grew up in a small house that often seemed to have a very big basement because every time we had a rain, that basement would flood and many times it flooded with sewage. By the way, where are we at? So did I, by the way. Really? I grew up on the east side at the corner of 110th and Avenue D. Uh, my first address was 9028 South Exchange. Oh, well, very <laughs> close to my mother. My mother grew up uh, at 90 or 100th and Commercial. Yeah, and lots of flooding. I do remember that. Lots yes, and lots of flooding. Lots of basement flooding. And so, you know, while my dad was working double shifts at U.S. Steel, my mom was often left to clean out that mess, you know, rot out those sewers and, and bail out that basement with her arthritic hands over and over again. And I think it's time that the Water Reclamation District starts spending their money differently. The Water Reclamation District is charged with two key things. First, protecting our drinking water supply, which is Lake Michigan, and second, preventing flooding. And I believe that by spending money differently, putting dollars into infrastructure in our communities, su supplementing municipal, in municipal infrastructure dollars, <laughs> a lot of tough words in this yes, race. I've <laughs> um, so that when a city wants to repave a street, a sidewalk, or an alley, we provide the uh, engineering and expertise as well as the supplemental dollars to do it the right way using pervious surfaces like this. Um, okay, yeah, tr let's sure. um, get this on camera. So this is a pervious street surface. It looks a lot like Rice Krispies. It looks like Rice Krispies but it is concrete or mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Right, and the water will flow through it um, and in, in flowing through it it will also filter out uh, impurities. And so when a street is designed correctly using this, or a sidewalk, it's especially a, a fabulous surface for sidewalks because uh, the sidewalk stays warmer and so you get less icing in cool. the winter. Um, but it also allows our rainwater to flow into the ground, staying out of our old sewer system and therefore out of people's basements. And in doing that, we also keep uh, the, the sewage discharges into the beaches and waterways to a minimum because, again, a lot less of our rainwater would then be going into that overworked system. Now, what's the relative cost of this compared to regular concrete? Well, it's definitely more expensive, which is why I believe the Water Reclamation District can be a force in supplementing municipal dollars and, and putting their dollars there. Um, Right now, costs uh, estimates that I've received would say if uh, you know your traditional street is a dollar, this is a dollar sixty or a okay. dollar sixty-two. So it's definitely an additional cost. However, we're making this product in Chicago. 
Um, a number of companies are doing these kind of products, so we can be creating jobs in every community as well, in, as, well as creating jobs, uh, putting people to work, making the product. So I think it's a terrific way to get people to work, solve basement flooding once and for all, and do great things for the environment. Do you have, well, just out of curiosity, I know, I know what flooding's like over here, which is, really isn't that bad. In Rogers Park, how is it? <laughs> well, it depends. It, it's sort of block by block. Um, across Cook County, we have over 60,000 homes that flood every year um, with an estimated damage of $150 million. Um, and I suspect the real numbers are a lot greater because a lot of people don't report if it's no, not covered on I their insurance. I wouldn't make a call and let anybody know about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So th those numbers may be much greater. And so I believe the Water Reclamation District should be investing at least that much every year into putting an end to this once and for all. Now, um, yeah. and how long, does this last longer than regular concrete? Same, or does, is there a study on that yet? Or? It, it depends on where it's used, and, and that requires good engineering. It works very well for alleys and sidewalks. Um, in terms of streets, it would make a lot of sense for our bike lanes. Um, it, you know, it might not handle heavy truck traffic or, or where, where trucks are doing a lot of turning. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. um, so, so you've got to engineer it correctly, put it in the right places. Um, it can also stop a lot of that pooling that we get in the streets. So where we've got the storm blockers that are also helping keep water out of our basements, but then we get all this rain collected in the street. If we partnered um, the, the storm blockers or rain blocker uh, in the sewer with the pervious surface, and with um, things like rain gardens in our parkways, things like that, we could let that water slowly seep into the ground but not have it be such a mess for pedestrians also. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. So tell us about um, some of the other things you're doing campaign-wise or the other issues and things sure. like that. Sure, well the campaign is going very well. Um, we uh, um, have gathered over 300 uh, volunteers who are working wow. across Cook County. That's a uh, lot. Yeah, I've got a, tr a tremendous group of folks. Um, at the, the time of this airing, we'll, we'll see where we are, but uh, <laughs> 300, <laughs> so how many signatures do you need? We need 20,000 signatures, um, and to date we've collected 15,000 of those. Excellent. So we're in, we're in very good shape, and uh, you know, building a lot of support across the county from electeds and others. Yeah, so you're talking about countywide elections, so that's... Uh, it's a very big county. I'm, I'm not worried about me making it through the election. I am worried about whether my car will make it through. <laughs> <laughs> The, um, yeah, we're talking about all the way, um, you know, south, it's big county is definitely it's true. Big county. So, I mean, you're all over the place, all you know, campaigning the whole shot? Tonight mm -hmm. I will be in Cicero and in Thornton Township. <laughs> oh, that's, well, at least, you know, that's, oh, that's where we were filming uh, the deep tunnel around Thornton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, fascinating stuff. Um, so, if people want to contact your campaign? They can contact us at electbarbaramore.com or uh, by phone at 973-4900. That's 773-973-4900. And you have a campaign manager? You got a whole staff I do. I, I have a campaign <laughs> manager whose unfortunate name is Harold Moore, not related, oh, okay. <laughs> which is now his permanent name. <laughs> Harold Moore, not related. Um, and our, we are uh, sharing offices with the Democratic Party of the 49th Ward and uh, the Organizing for America folks who are working at 1774 West Greenleaf in East Rogers Park. Very good. So um, Barbara Moore, candidate for Water Reclamation District. This is, it's not quite countywide, and it's actually got a little bit that's outside Cook County. But uh, anyway, uh, good luck in the campaign. Thank um, you. And I hope you'll uh, come back closer to election time. Anytime, glad okay. to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you.